Mmm, aromas of Chongqing chili, Sichuan pepper, perhaps some notes of star anise. And is that a touch of bay leaf? Yes, it's the season for hot pot, and it's so hot right now! Hot pot, or guo guo, literally translates as fire pot, and has become a global phenomenon exploding in popularity over the past few years. Oh. I'd rather see a million hot pot restaurants than a million McDonald's. How cool is it that we have such a specific regional cultural dish that's so readily available? Meet Matt Jang, head chef of one of Melbourne's busiest hot pot restaurants. So chef, can you explain what is hot pot? Yeah. So as everybody knows, hot pot got a um, soup in there, and also we can cook everything in there, like the meat, vegetables, noodles, dumplings, or you can create your own pot. We use these ingredients for cooking the hot pot paste. These uh, uh, small pieces ones, we call that spicy chili. Galingo, green onions, fennel, cloves, cinnamon, fresh ginger, onion, and garlic. Yeah. While hot pot styles might vary, for this Sichuan style, Spices are grounded together and mixed with fat into a paste. That's the fennel paste. So that's all of that crushed yes. up, and crushed up, and the coal fat. Oh, cow fat. Yeah, yeah. The paste is then fried and added to a hot stock. This forms a soup base for dipping the raw ingredients. We need to cook the oil to reach the right temperature, yeah. and then we put the ingredients one by one. I'm so excited. <laughs> The northern styles are a lot more focused on the meat, whereas in the southern regions, you've got your spicy ones, you've got your herbal ones, you've got in Teochew, they're really famous for a beef hot pot. And then as you keep going into Asia, into Southeast Asia and also beyond, you've got your Thai style, you've got a Viet version, then you've got Korean hot pot too. Everyone's doing it because I think that style of eating is so appealing. It makes sense that it's gone everywhere. And it's been enjoyed by Chinese people for years, with its origins believed to date back to the Mongol Empire, when warriors ate together around a simmering pot over a fire. Legend has it they used their metal helmets on cold winter nights as a pot to boil meat and bones. But not everyone agrees with this version of hot pot history. It's got many thousand year old history in China, and they say it is from Chongqing. Beijing, yeah. I think, says that it's from there as well, but I think it's so yeah. written into the fabric of the Chinese culinary history that everybody wants a little bit of it. <laughs> In 2018, there was an outrage on social media when a town in Anhui province claimed it was the home of hot pot. The rest of the country laughed. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another reason why people love hot pot. It's a great way to socialize. I think the social experience is more important than food. You know, it's a bit out of my comfort zone, but that's what makes it exciting. We can't share the food together, so that's why. We like that. That's great. I love it. Can't go wrong. Okay, thank you. When you have multi generational families, when you don't really have a lot to say to each other, having this really active style, really engaging style of eating can really fill in gaps of, I guess, conversation. In my family, my sister's husband is from China and his parents don't speak a heap of English and my mandarin is abysmal at best. This eating hot pot is something that we do enjoy doing together because we all know what to do. And when my mandarin runs out, we're still eating and enjoying together. But before we dig in, there's one more crucial step. The all important dipping sauce. You can use 30 different types of the condiments yeah. to make your own dipping sauce. Amazing. Whoa, it's like a pick and mix. I'm going to make you one. Uh, the most uh, classic Sichuan sauce. Okay, sure. Uh, some garlic paste, spring onion, granules, yep. oyster sauce, sesame oils. Should we go eat? Yeah, let's go let's back to the it. Yeah. Okay, we've got beef tripe, beef slices, some pork ribs, and seafood. And it's dip, dip, and eat! Sesame oil has a function to dilute the, the hotness and also the spiciness. Crunchy, crispy, and full of flavors. Yep. And vegetarians aren't forgotten either. The tofu. Oh yes, the tofu. Getting full, getting fuller, even fuller, just a little bit more, and relax. The really key thing is not over-ordering. It's really difficult to do because you see these like these menus and you're just like, oh my god, I want to try all of these things. I gotta admit, growing up, I was pretty indifferent to hot pot. But after today, I totally get it. I am converted to hot pot. 
and I want more.